Hey guys, so the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids using this Mecca Max Life Proof Concealer. So I'm just applying some onto my lids and then blending it out with a damp sponge. And then to set it down, I'm just using the banana-y kind of shade from the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. Then I'm taking some rainbow tape and applying it to the outer corner of my eyes. I got this one from Kmart if you are wondering. And then I'm dipping in to the 35P palette from Morphe. I'm starting out with this like light brown transition shade and then I'm going into a little bit more of a deeper warmer brown for a transition. Even when I do cool tone looks, I still like to have a warm tone through the crease. Then I'm picking up this dusty mauvey kind of shade on a MAC 217 and I'm just starting to build this up in the outer corner right along the tape and then bring it along through my crease. Then I'm picking up two different shades, it's the plum shade down the bottom and then that deeper cool toned brown. I'm mixing those together just to create, to create a little bit more depth in the outer corner and through the crease. Then I'm dipping into this very true purple, it's quite deep and I'm using a, oh my gosh I can't talk, an E39 brush which is much more dense so I'm packing on more of a punch pretty much. And then I just blended everything with an E40 and added a tiny little bit of the white shadow just along the brow bone to blend everything out. And then back in with that E39 brush, I picked up the matte black from the palette and I just added this into the outer corners just to make everything a little bit more smoky and I did end up bringing it actually quite all the way in towards the inner corners. Didn't intentionally do that but it happened so we went with it. Then I went into the MAC Queen Supreme palette and I took this beautiful purpley shade on my finger and applied it to my entire lid and then I took this more silvery gunmetal shade and applied that to the very center of the eyelids. Then for liquid liner I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua XL li liner in black and just creating a nice wing with that. Then I used this new Sigma, it's a retractable coal pencil, I really like it. I just tight lined with that, removed the tape and then I used some micellar water on a cleansing pad just to get rid of any of that fallout that I had going on. Then I used this mascara from MAC, I forget what it's called but I'll have it listed down below. Um, so I used the big end for my upper lashes and then I applied the Mykonos lashes from Klepke Cosmetics. And then I did just go over the lash line um, with my liquid liner once again just to hide the band. Then to start with the face I'm using the MAC strobe cream in pink light just to give myself a nice like illuminated base. My skin is really dry at the moment so I went in with this cream foundation from the brand Studio 10. Um, you can get it from Sephora and I'm in the shade medium. I actually quite liked it. It was really, really dewy and creamy. So if you have oily skin, you will not like it. But if you are dry, I think you will. Then I went in with that Mecca Max concealer once again and I applied it underneath my eyes and down the center of my face. And this is another new thing for me and I actually do like this a lot as well. It's not as full coverage as my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, but it's still a pretty good amount of coverage and I do like it. Um, this is another new thing I bought. I used up my Mecca voucher finally. So it's the Smashbox Con Cali Contour Palette. So I just used that banana shade to set those concealed areas down. And then I actually went in with a mineral powder foundation just to set the rest of the face. Because I used a cream foundation and it was very, very creamy. Then going back into that Smashbox palette, I'm taking the darker of the two contour shades and I'm just really chiseling out my cheekbones with this and then I dip into the lighter, more bronzier shade and just kind of apply it over the top and then use that to warm up the rest of my face. And I'm using this little Eco Tools Mini Precision Blush Brush which I love for contouring, it's amazing. And then I'm using the blush from the palette. It's like a nice matte, kind of very neutral shade. It goes with pretty much anything. So 
I applied that to my cheeks and then I took the lighter highlight shade from the palette as well. I just wanted to use the whole palette and yeah, I did. So I just applied it to my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, my chin, my nose and above the arches of my eyebrows. Then I just went in one more time with my damp sponge to make sure everything was super seamless and going back into the eyes I am mixing those two shades together again, the plum and the dark brown. I am sorry it wasn't really in frame but I'm using the 217 to buff that under the eyes. Then I'm taking that purple shade again on the E39 and just adding a little bit of that to the lower lash line. Um, I ended up with a really smoky lower lash line unintentionally but hey then I use that silver shade from the MAC palette which is super metallic once again to highlight the inner corners and then I used the MAC mascara I use the little tiny end of it to coat my lower lashes and I applied this like plummy burgundy shade I kind of regret it because it so didn't go with the look I don't know why I thought it would but ugh, I don't know can't go back can I <laughs> then for the lips I lined them using boldly Blit, boldly bare lip pencil by Mac and then to fill them in I use the Mecca max liquid lipstick in the shade birthday suit which is like this really pretty pinky nude and that completes the look oh I did actually set my face down just with some fix plus pink light and that completes the look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Uh, As it's like more swollen and noticeable. Maybe he's broken it. Possibly. Mm. Come here, Dylan. Come here. Would you come here? Oh, that's you. Just squeeze along it oh, and just see nice. where. Okay, it looks like swollen at the top there. Are the potatoes coming? Sure. There's not much big shoe. Actually.